So, hello and welcome everybody. Today uh, we're in Train Sim World 2, a new game on this channel, and um, yeah, we will be driving a scenario here. We will be driving the high speed run, uh, 35 minute scenario, uh, no cuts hopefully, and yeah, so let's get right into the scenario. Now, as you guys may able, be able to hear, uh, I've upgraded my microphone. I hope that it makes it better, uh, but we'll see. So, high speed run. Welcome to St. Pancras International. Because of the late running, this train won't be stopping at Stratford International. Head towards the cab to get started. So, we'll be driving the Class 395 Javelin. Uh, of southeastern high speed. And let me quickly adjust the volume a little bit. There we go. So let's get into the cabin. Climb up here, close the door, and get into the driver's seat. Then we'll set the master key to on, reverse it to neutral. Hold the control button for two seconds. Put the pantograph up and close the MCB. Then set the reverser to forward and let's unlock the doors on the right hand side. Right, so let's get a quick look around St. Pancras. You can see the most outer outer rails are used for the southeastern high speed rail. And I guess that here will be then the Eurostar track somewhere on the other side of the station, I guess. But I've never been here, so correct me in case I'm wrong. Service takes us to Strood today. Calling at Absolute International, Gravesend, and Strood. So, not many stops. We can lock the doors. And get back into the cabin. Switch off the DRA. And let's get going. All right, I'll check quickly if the TVM is on. Now it is. And also here, we got to turn on the AWS. Now we can get going. <laughs> Right, so, um, I've never really been to uh, Great Britain myself, uh, I'm from Germany, so I'm used to high speed trains, but not the British ones, so we'll see how it goes. Next video um, I'm planning should be a... Uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator video again. Probably from uh, Istanbul to Cologne, so you can look forward to that, Turkish Airlines. But maybe we'll be also uh, flying from Kuwait to Dubai, which is also an interesting uh, flight. So yeah. speed up to 60 kilometers per hour. Let's see. Where is the... Oh, there. Set that. No. 
That was the button. Right, so we're now in the tunnel going under the river Thames, I think. And our next stop will be Epps Fleet International in 20 miles. So we'll be going straight through uh, Stratford, if I'm not mistaken. Can speed up to 200 kilometers per hour, which is uh, 125 miles per hour, I think. Soon we're ab able to speed up to our maximum speed, I think, on this uh, line of 230. now now uh, recently train sim world 2 had a big update, the uh, rush hour update, if I'm not mistaken, and um, yeah, so it's uh, greatly improved the passenger system, although not on this line, but um, so there have been new routes, like I think uh, Dresden to Riza recently came out, but then also the Boston commuter, and soon there will be another British route, which will link uh, London and Brighton, I think, also passing by Gatwick Airport. So maybe eventually in the future we'll have some combination going from London to Gatwick Airport and then flying from Gatwick Airport to some other destination. Right, so here's uh, Stratford International. As you can see, there was another uh, Javelin train. And we're entering the tunnel again. Just wanted to say that the train had difficulty to get up to its speed, but then suddenly it went quick. <laughs> okay, so in a few moments we should uh, come out of the tunnel. Try to find a setting of the power handle where the train doesn't speed up too much. And we're going up the hill, so should get out of the tunnel any moment now.
can see the light at the end of the tunnel. And we'll also take a screenshot for uh, the thumbnail. <laughs> There we are. Very nice. Nah, not here yet. We'll do it in a few moments. This train is accelerating very quickly, but in the top part of its speed, it's not really, not really very quick, I must say. Right, now we can take a screenshot. If I, there we go. Now, the only thing I don't really like with Trains in World 2 is uh, that the that you don't have any, like, cabin views from the passenger side. I mean, you can walk through the cabin, which is awesome, but, uh, you know, while you're driving, it's really hard to take get views of, like, the cabin. So, uh, in Epsfleet we will uh, branch off the high-speed rail that we are on currently, which by the way is Britain's fastest railway, and um, yeah, so we will yeah, branch off and then make our way in the direction of Faversham, hope I pronounced it correctly, and yeah, but we will not reach Faversham today, only Strood. Right, TVM is alerting us to slow down, so we'll start braking slightly already. Anyway, I was talking about the passenger view, so I preferred that in the uh, train simulator, the normal one, that you could press the 5 key and take a look throughout the cabin while driving. I mean, you still have these scenarios where you just sit in the train uh, and don't really like drive it or so, but I don't know, it seems kind of boring like that. Now let's hope that I don't watch the braking and that we don't overshoot the platform. <laughs> okay. Now I'm eventually planning to also um, make videos about Forza Horizon 5 as soon as it comes out because I've recently been playing uh, the fourth part a lot, 
which is why this video also doesn't come out in the weekend. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know. Would you like guys like to look at videos of that, or should I make like a separate channel for not really simulation videos, but also other? We're now in the AWS, not anymore the. Oh god. Need to break. Uh, yeah, anyway, do you want to have a separate channel for like other games that are not simulation or should I just upload them here as well? Would be nice for some feedback. I've also been re-watching my videos. I noticed that I need to stop smacking my mouth. I'll try to not do that anymore. Okay, so think we have to press that button once right no wait oh yeah first I have to press DC button and then press this yeah and then press again and now I hope that we're under yeah, it switched to mouse power, so it should be correct. Let's hope that we can also get moving. <laughs> okay, quick look around Apps Fleet. It's a relatively small station here, but the rest is also over here for the regular high speed rail. Not sure if Southeastern also operates in that direction. Maybe they do. Oops. Right, took a quick sip of water. And let's get back into the cabin. Oh, okay. Didn't want me to change yet. Anyway. Huh. That's weird that the thing just doesn't recognize that. We'll just follow the instructions from here on out. Come on. the doors again and we're going now forward nice I also notice when the train is driving under power rail it accelerates and brakes also a lot slower than uh, with the overhead what's it called the, the pantograph. Uh, not sure, like, I mean, I get the acceleration part, but slowing down, not sure if that has really anything to do with it or if I'm just having a weird feeling. <laughs> anyway, can speed up to 60 miles per hour now. And then in. 1.6 miles to we'll stop at Graves End. I 
Also, my apologies if the microphone settings are not quite quite perfect yet. Uh, I'm still working on it because the microphone is relatively new, and I'm also it's the, it's the first recording session that I'm making with the new microphone. Uh, I've upgraded to a Blue Yeti, and before I had like some crappy headset mic that I was propping up somewhere, which is also why. Oops, I need to slow down. Which is also why you could always hear my clicking and also my throttle quadrant. Anything it was not very ideal. I think, well, at least the clicking sound should be less now. Um, and also my voice quality should be better. <laughs> if not, then this investment was not very useful, but yeah. Still have to get used to having a, a microphone physically in front of you. It's uh, quite different. I slowed it out. In, well, I slowed down a little bit too early. So 500 yards to the 30 mile per hour speed mark. But anyway, also not sure if we'll make it in time to Gravesend. But I've noticed that it's harder to concentrate while also having to talk. <laughs> it's easier to just drive on your own. Now we can slow down. To 30. quite enjoy Train Sim World 2. I mean, I've played the original Train Simulator by Dovetail Games. I've played that really a lot. Uh, like, I think it's my most played game until now. Although Microsoft Flight Simulator is on the way to catch up there, so... But I'm also really looking forward to the Fly-by-Wire A380. Uh, and all the BMDG planes. So, as soon as nicer planes uh, arrive, then you can also expect some long haul routes. I mean, on my own, I've played also around with the uh, Salty 747 before, but um, I don't know, I'm not really quite comfortable yet flying it. It's the same with the Aerosoft CRJ, by the way. Uh, I also have that, but. Um, I first need to learn it properly before I will, I will I will be making videos with it. But I I prefer a lot the the long haul flying, um, just because these machines they are always quite amazing to me how such huge airplanes can can fly. a quick sip of water there. Okay. Now on to our next last stop for today. Strood. I've also been really enjoying these British routes for Train Sim World 2. Um, I mean, in the original Train Simulator, I've always been playing German routes, just because they're most familiar to me. And because I also really like the add on trains that were out there for. Oops, where's the quick? Uh, for uh, Train Simulator by Virtual Ra Railroads and uh, 3D Zug probably doesn't mean anything to a lot of you but 
they were really nice trains but I have really enjoyed I've really been enjoying the British routes and also especially the southeastern high-speed route uh, so I've decided that this should be first train sim world 2 video for this channel like I said I, I also had the idea that we could com combine um, both train sim world 2 and Microsoft Flight Simulator in some videos like that uh, I'll first for example drive from London to Gatwick Airport and then uh, from Gatwick for example with any easy jet flight or so uh, to a different area and maybe if there's even some route in the train simulator or train from World 2 then continue from there on to some other destination you can write in the comments if you would like that video idea or not Oh, nice, uh, what is that? Class 377, I think? No expert in British trains yet, so... <laughs> Apologies in case I was wrong. Right, so 70 miles per hour is, I think, the, uh top speed on the old I, I call it the old part of the uh, of the railway I mean the one with the third rail here next to it Side here. Now, what I've noticed in this train is that the seats, they all look. I mean, of course, this train is a regional train, but before I bought this route, I had no idea that it was really like meant as a regional train. I thought it was always more like a high speed, long distance train, but like an intercity basically. Uh, but I was surprised to find out that it's really just looks like a regional train from the inside. I mean, it makes sense uh, con uh, if you look at the distances between the stations. It's not really that far. But uh, for example, in Germany, we don't really don't really have like high-speed regional trains. The only thing I could think of is I think between. Munich and I'm not sure is it Ingolstadt anyway somewhere there there's a regional train going over the high-speed rail reaching 200 kilometers per hour but for the rest it's just you know normal speed it's only really the ICE train that goes really high speed is this where are we Hyam? yeah I think it's pronounced Hyam. ah back in the tunnel so we just passed through Hyam. let's see that's where it is and then I guess we're going all the way through a tunnel and then emergence shoot out of the tunnel
start slowing down to 15 miles per hour. Right too early again. speed up a little bit more before we come to a screeching halt here Right. Let's unlock the doors. What is it? Is it a class 375, not 377? Okay. And I know that now. Now let's take a quick look around Strood platform. Oh wow. It's like a little yacht haven haven. With the submarine. Interesting. Yeah, very regional train vibes I get here. Reversers to neutral. Set on DRA. And, whoops. Max brake. Reverser to off. Master key off. Disembark the train. Oops, wrong side. <laughs> Very nice. Then let's take a quick look. 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 Oh, even have announcement here. Right. So we're perfectly on time with everything. Good stopping distance. So people, if you like this video and would like to see more of Trainsum World 2 on this channel, uh, then please 
consider giving a like and subscribing the channel. Uh, like I said, next video will probably be Microsoft Flight Simulator, so look out for that one. And then, take care and goodbye.